Hello chess lovers, Surin here and in this video I want to share with you a brilliant attacking game played by American chess grandmaster Conrad Holt. At the time of this game he was an international master and in this game his opponent is American chess grandmaster Leif Milman. This game was played in 2011 in Berkeley. Conrad Holt was playing with the white pieces opened up with d4 and Lev Milman responded with knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, bishop b4. Black is going for Nimzo Indian defense to which white is responding with the classical variation queen c2. Black castles kingside and white is instantly occupying the center. d5, e5, knight e4, bishop d3, c5, knight f3. C takes d4, knight takes d4, knight d7. I have to tell you that this is a popular line seen many times and even the strongest players in the world are choosing this line very often. Queen h4. Black is attacking the bishop on f4 and another popular alternative is knight d c5 but in our game we have queen h4. g3, queen h3. Well, black could also move back his queen on h5. This move had been seen in games of Kramnik, Aronia, and Dominguez Paris, but in our game we have Queen H3, White castles Queen side. Already White wants to capture on E4, that's why we have Knight takes C3. Black is damaging White's pawn structure on the Queen side, and then is announcing a check from A3. King B1, Knight B6, Bishop F1, Queen H5, Bishop E2, Queen H3, Knight F3 and queen f5. Well, in here, proceeding with bishop d7 and creating bishop a4 threat is even better, but in our game we have queen f5, bishop d3, which is allowing this bishop to step on this attacking diagonal with a tempo. Queen h5, knight g5, already there is too much pressure on h6, and black pushed his h pawn forward, but it turns out that this is allowing white to gain advantage. Instead, it was better to think about a counterattack and played bishop d7. Of course, I understand that from a human perspective, allowing white to win this pawn is very difficult, but this is what engine suggests and this is what could allow black to fight back. But in our game, we have h6. To which white responded with an hyper aggressive h4 move. Now it turns out that the queen on h5 is misplaced and white's attack will escalate very quickly. Accepting the knight's sacrifice can be suicidal because once white is opening up the h file, black king can quickly get checkmated with the mage to follow very quickly. That's why, finally, black played bishop d7, but already it's too late. Here we have bishop h7 check, and after king h8 we have bishop g8. White is freeing the h7 square and is creating a mating threat. All black could do was to block the b1 h7 diagonal, but this time we have knight takes f7 check. Now if king takes g8, then g4 is coming, with the idea of if queen takes g4 then knight h6 and black is losing his queen or after g4 if bishop a4 then simply queen d3 and again white is winning. Uh, actually I have to tell you that after knight takes f7 check the toughest resistance for black starts with rook takes f7 but even in this case black has little chances to survive. Yes black is managing to prolong his resistance but in the end of the day White has an extra pawn, a bishop pair, and nice chances of winning the game. But in our game, after knight takes f7 check, we have king g7, which is even worse. Here we have g4, and after this forced queen takes g4 move, once white is managing to open up the g file, there it goes, we have rook g1. Now if queen h5, then this can allow white to unleash a very beautiful combination. White can go for a rook sacrifice and then can capture on h6 and black king can quickly get checkmated. That's why after rook g1 black played queen f5 but after the exchange of queens on f5 and rook takes g6 check it turns out that checkmate is just a matter of moves. A very beautiful rook sacrifice, right guys? And I think that this position is very picturesque. 
King takes g6 was played and after h5 check king g7 white announced the checkmate. Another beautiful final position, right? Sometimes I think that it's good that the players are not resigning too early and are allowing such picturesque checkmates to appear on the board. Well, in the end, let's also solve a chess puzzle where the task is to find the mating line for white. There is a checkmate in four moves and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, in the end here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well, I will see you in my next video, take care.